Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And in this box is supposed to be one of the greatest AM, FM, and shortwave radios. So we're going to see. Actually, it did not come in that box. It actually came in a padded envelope, and that was it. And the backing here that this thing is connected to is warped. The plastic is yellowed. So I don't know where in the world the seller dug this up. But I got this off of Amazon through a third-party seller uh, who sells this particular company also sells Texan shortwave radios on Amazon. Again, he's third-party, so if you've got a problem, you have to deal with him or them, and if you have problems there Amazon will assist you uh, let's 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 just let it go at that I um, well I'm not gonna tell you my sad story let's just go on so this is an AM FM shortwave receiver high sensitivity tuner built-in speaker well that's nice telescopic antenna Boy, it's, this is just unbelievable. Alarm clock, digital display, deluxe earbud plugs. Deluxe, not just plain cheap dollar store earbud plugs. Uh, wrist strap. These features are unbelievable. I, I just can't believe this. And wait till I tell you the price. And requires two AA batteries not included. Well, I hope I have two AA batteries. And it comes in this blister pack. I call it a blister pack. It's actually a folded over piece of plastic. And like I say, if you look down here at this little label that's covered up, it's kind of yellowed. These, I think these have been a, around some for a while, or they were on the bottom of the boat that brought them over something it's kind of strange um but they were on sale can you, can you believe this all these features all here they are again all these features and this little baby was on sale for 5.99 plus it was offered to the uh prime members with two-day free shipping I, I couldn't pass it up i just I couldn't pass it up. And the first complication, I, I knew there was going to be complication. The first complication was the second day after I ordered that I was supposed to get it, I look on Amazon to find out, you know, is it going to be delivered today for sure? And it says it's going to be another five to ten days to get it. So I called Amazon and they said, well, they don't know what the problem is, but uh, maybe there was a high demand or something like that. Well, I can kind of believe that. If you just, if you just want to play with a radio, <laughs> $5.99, you know, how could you go wrong? So anyway, I flopped this out of the packing. And there's the, what do they call these things? The deluxe earbuds they uh kind of feel a little stick <laughs> they feel a little sticky <laughs> oh these these they don't look much better than the ones i get at a dollar store which actually the ones at the dollar store work pretty good if you know if you're not listening to music so yeah heck with that um here it is it is well, there's no, there's, 
Hmm, kind of watermarks there. I can see it's scratched, but it's not scratched. I don't know. And it's seven bands of shortwave. Seven, seven bands. I feel like one of those guys on TV that's trying to show, uh, sell you this cloth that uh, will suck up an ocean full of water. Oh, oh, it even comes with a manual. And again, it's kind of yellowish. Hmm. I wonder when these were made, like in the 1930s or something. Okay, and it comes out of Hallandale, Hall, H-A-L-A-N-D-A-L, Florida. It comes out of Florida. <laughs> I can't believe this. This war is, oh, this is, I'm going to read it for yours. I don't normally read these, and it's not an instruction manual. It's just a, a, a warranty. Uh, Dell Star Security and Wireless Communication Corporation, that's the one that makes this supposedly or buys it from Japan, warrants each product manufactured by it to be free of defect materials and workmanship. Ba 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 Yeah, okay. Too much for that. So we get no instructions. None. There are no instructions. Um, it, I keep wanting to say it doesn't look too bad, but the closer I look, I want it doesn't look too bad. I can't believe this. Check this out. It have a it has a kickstand. <laughs> well, you believe that? Let me zoom in. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. Yes, I do. Okay, it's got a kickstand. Look at there. Now that, I think that that gives it, you know, two stars right there that it has a kickstand. Just kind of look at these buttons. I don't know if it looks like it's got water rings right in this area. I don't know what that's about. The Display looks clear. It's not scratched. It doesn't have any protective material. Um, this is the band select, either medium wave or seven short waves bands, and then it has AM, FM. So you you, you select F, AM, and then you use this dial up here to select, select medium wave or the short wave bands. And the power on off, minutes and hours for setting the clock, time and alarm. It's got an alarm. Mm, yeah, okay. Over here, I keep getting out of the camera view. Over here we have either, the this is either a tuning knob or you flip the switch and it's to adjust the clock. Okay, that's pretty inventive. Uh, over here we have uh, volume. We have volume, right here's volume. We have earphones and a power connector. So you could use an AC power adapter, which doesn't come with it. And it says it uses, oops, cut upside down. Can't read it. Get the light just right. I don't know. I can't read it. It's just embossed. And so there's no different color to make it stand out. So for my poor eyes, I can't read it. And a telescopic antenna. Let me uh, just see how big it is. It's not bad. You know, it's um, maybe 18 inches extended. Well, that's not bad. This may turn out to be a winner. It's only six bucks. If it turns on, it's worth the six bucks. Okay, so let's get some batteries. This takes two AA, which I have right here. And let's see how they go in. It goes positive that direction.
And it came on. Okay, let me uh, close up this battery case. Easier said than done. The, the, whoops. <laughs> I didn't get that on straight. Stand by. There we go. Uh, the plastic is kind of that hard, hard, brittle plastic. So it's on. The default time came up as 12.00. Okay. Uh, where's, oh, power on. Power on's right here. Um, I try to zoom in. I try to hold this up higher so you can see it because I'm zoomed in as far as I can go. So we'll turn the power on. Uh, probably a push and hold. Uh, <laughs> I, don't get, I can't get power on. Uh, do I have to set the clock? That's on frequency. Oh, maybe it is on. Okay, maybe push. Yeah, it was on. It was on. Okay. And it's now in. I push the AM button, so it should be an AM. Uh, let's see. Now, I shouldn't. The telescopic antenna shouldn't be needed for AM. So let's. Where did the volume go? Over here. Okay, keep forgetting to hold it up to the camera. Pretty quiet. Okay, let's try to tune. You know, that's FM. It's not AM. I push the AM button, and it's on FM. It's like right now it's 91.1 megahertz. Uh, let me see if that's all the way over. Um, now let me look at the ad. Just stand by. A yeah, the ad says it's got AM. Well, I pushed AM and it's in FM mode. Matter of fact, it says right up here, it says FM. And over here is a little square and it says alarm around it. So that's probably if you have the alarm turned on. But I'm in FM mode, 91.1 megahertz, even though I pressed AM. Maybe I gotta press and hold. Uh, nope, <laughs> that ain't it. Let me press FM. Uh, nope, <laughs> that's not it. Uh, hmm. Oh, there we go. I just didn't push hard enough. So now we're down at 603 kilohertz so there should be a station at 620 i believe uh tuning over here Whoop. Ooh. <laughs> here we go There is no way in hell that I can tune the, the first digit there. I mean, I'm trying to tune this thing to 620. Oh, I did it. No, 619. <laughs> Jeez. There's no way. Can you imagine trying to tune a shortwave station with this? Oh, my gosh. Let's try FM. Uh, let's try, let's try FM. Ah, you got to push a little hard on the button. So let's, oh, we got to watch out music. No music. Music is, no, no, copyrights. Okay, let's, and there's no, um, those, there's no indication of the signal strength. There's a power on power on light right here which is red and it's well, it's on so uh, I got the vol I'm gonna turn the volume way down so that you don't hear any music and I'll try tuning it okay too loud oh I gotta keep that music out of there okay now I can use the external antenna. I apologize for not keeping this 
radio in view of the camera. So I've got the um, built-in antenna fully extended. And um, let me see if I can tune 95.5. Is it possible? 95.7, I went past. 95.4, 95.6, come on, easy, easy, oh, 94.1, I can't, I can't tune in, I'm trying to tune in uh, 95.5 and I keep going past it each direction, it won't, I can't use this little thumb well to get right on it, but it seems like when I was on AM band, it seems like the front end of this radio is so wide, it doesn't matter. Now, let me go down to a lower frequency on the FM band that hopefully doesn't have music playing. So let's go down to 89 something. 88, well, somewhere down there. Boy, it's hard to tune. Okay, there's 88.5. It's coming in pretty weak. Um, that station is across the bay from me, and it's typically not very strong. So it's, it's okay that it's not receiving it too well. Plus, I, I got it in my workshop, and we got a lot of interference and everything. So it's okay. It's okay. I was able to get the stronger stations, which is playing music, of course, and it's what's normal. Um, they came in fine. I just had the problem with the tuning. Yeah, really touchy on the tuning. I do have a digital display, so I'm not having to, to fight with an analog display. And look how small this thing is. I mean, it's small, so it's okay. Now, -da 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 -da, let's try short way. So we go back to AM. Press real hard. There we go. We're back to AM, and then I come up here, and on the on the Amazon website, it tells me which band is which of the seven shortwave bands, and I want to try. Well, <laughs> the lowest the lowest it will go is 5.9 megahertz, and the highest it will go is 17.9 megahertz. And it's basically the international broadcast bands for shortwave. So I can't get 5 megahertz to try WWV. I can't get 10 megahertz to try WWV. And I can't get 15 megahertz and I can't get 20 megahertz. So I can't try any of the WWV frequencies because they're not, they're not in the range. So let's try... Now it's right now, it's 3.30 in the afternoon here in Florida. And so I should be getting upper bands. Uh, let's just try 13.6 to 13.8, which is band number five. Oh boy, my eyes. Oh, this is not fun okay there yeah, okay so this is displaying that's displaying bands the last band uh, oh yeah yeah I'm on the wrong place the back one oh, I just poked myself in the eye okay we're at 14.62 14.62 oh, that's not the one I wanted I want five I went to four, I went to six, I went to five. Okay, five, 13.19. Now I'm using the built-in antenna and I'm in my workshop, so it's it's gonna struggle. And I just, <laughs> I just spit all over it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it must be the pain medicine I'm taking that's making me so giddy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna turn the volume up and see if by any chance, 
I could get a short weight station. Okay, I can hear the noise. You probably can't. No, hasn't been noise. Actually, it goes to <laughs> it go. It's gone to fourteen point one eight, which is not listed. I wonder if I could get, actually get ten. Let me try. Where's ten? Will be three. Band three. Band three. I think that's band four. Ooh, band three. 7.55. Well, that's band two. There. Hey, I can actually get in the 10 megahertz. Although it says on the Amazon webpage, which is the only documentation I have, it goes from 9.5 to 9.99. It's showing 10. Okay, let's see what we can do here. See if we can get WWV. Okay, there's 9.9. .9. I don't hear WWV. But it doesn't mean that this radio is just not good. Because maybe if I tried one of my other antennas right now, uh, maybe it can't get it. Now, let me try something here. Let's get real wild here. I have my external 31-foot uh, vertical antenna right here. And if I can find an alligator clip lead. Uh, now, this isn't the best one, but it's something. So I'm going to try to hook up this external antenna to this guy. Whoa! Whoop! Came loose. Let me move the wires around a little bit. Okay, we got noise. I don't hear WWD. No. I'm at, let turn this down for a second, I'm at 9.37 and I'm guessing what I'm hearing is the medium wave band bleeding over. It, it just sounds like the normal news type broadcast that's on medium wave. Let's turn it back up. And I got like three stations. Yeah, not, nothing really. Um, what I'm going to do is turn it down. What I'm going to do is, number one, it's a bad time of the day. It's like I say, it's 3.45 in the afternoon here in Florida. That's a terrible time for me here in Florida to receive shortwave. So what I'm going to do is uh, try it later this evening on shortwave. It seems to be working on AM and FM 5. And it's receiving on shortwave now because I'm using an external antenna, so I'm probably getting medium wave, strong,
close by station bleeding in on the shortwave band. So, I, I, <laughs> for a novelty, and maybe for an emergency radio, this may turn out to be a pretty good radio. Again, it was five ninety nine on Amazon when I bought it. Let me look at Amazon just briefly and see what it is now. Might be more. No, nope, it's still on Amazon for five ninety nine, and this is the Dell Star DS one thousand seven. It's made by Kato. Matter of fact, somewhere I thought I saw something that said K A something. Where did I see that? I guess I dreamed it. So those people that are over in Asia probably recognize this. It's probably one that everybody puts their name on. But again, it's available right now. I've got it, the web page up for, on Amazon for $5.99. And if you have a Prime account, it says it has two-day shipping. Well, as I said before, that's what I thought. But it, there was a delay, and it took about a week for me to get not a big deal. <laughs> but this thing is pretty, uh, I guess the word is cute. It's pretty cute little radio. Uh, and it does, you know, it's not real chintzy. It does remind me of these radios that you used to be able to get at Walgreens. And it does remind me of radios costing up to $20, which have this seven band select switch. The configuration is different. And it does have a digital frequency readout, but the tuning knob is real touchy. It does have an alarm. What else does that? This thing's got a lot of features. Oh, it's got a wrist strap that's not easily removed. You'd have to cut it off. And it's got an earphone, and it even has a power jack. I haven't figured out what the voltage required is. So, it's not that bad. Five ninety nine. We will see this evening or maybe tomorrow night whether I can receive at least one strong shortwave station. So that's the um, show for today. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. If you got some enjoyment, even if it's just laughing at me, give me a thumbs up. And also, what will also help my shows is if you click on the share button below the video and share this on on um, Facebook or Google Plus or Twitter. That'll help. We need to get the word out to people that don't know about my shows. So anyway, we just wasted 28 minutes of your time. Uh, this might be a good show to watch in fast forward mode. Bye-bye.